Now, if you're thinking about getting an electric vehicle, you've probably got lots of questions, and no doubt some of those questions relate to charging an electric car. Now, there are lots of ways you can charge an electric car, and we'll talk about that in another video, but in this video, I wanna discuss how we can get as close as possible to having one swipe card that we could use at any public charging station. Now, as you're probably aware, with a regular car, you would go to a, a petrol station and you would use your credit card, fill up and away you go. Well, it's not quite as simple as that when you're charging an electric vehicle. Just like normal petrol stations that have different brands like Shell, BP, Caltex, etc., there are different providers of public EV charging stations. Now, each of those providers require you to have their app on your phone. And when you charge your vehicle, you need to pay for it using their app. Now, there is a way to be able to have one swipe card that will be accepted by multiple charging network providers. If you don't have the card, you would have to go into each individual app, dependent on which station you're charging at, and go through some pretty basic steps to use the app in order to pay for your charge. Now, your credit card details are connected with the app through the account that you create. But most of these network providers have what we call an RFID card, or a radio frequency identification card, or basically a swipe card and you might pay them an extra 10 or $12 and they'll post you one of these cards. Now, I really like the EV network. I just like the brand. I like the charging setup and how everything looks. It's always very easy to use. I've never had an issue at any of the EV charging stations. And so I like to stick with the EV brand and that's why I decided to get the EV swipe card or RFID card. Now, you still need the apps for all of these other network providers, you need their individual app. But within each of those apps, you can go into the settings and actually add the number from your swipe card, in my case, the EV swipe card. You can add the unique number from that card into the settings of the other network provider's app. Now, when you do that, you'll be able to swipe the EV card at any of these other networks and it will recognize that it's your account, that it's your credit card, and it will charge you accordingly. So that brings us as probably as close as we can get at the moment to being able to swipe a credit card at an EV charging station and drive away. We currently can't do that, but let's hope eventually that becomes the case because it's very convenient to simply swipe your card at any station and off you go in the same way that you would do at a regular petrol station. Now, if you do end up purchasing an electric vehicle, sooner or later, you're going to use a public charging station. So if you can get your head around this process early and make it as simple as possible, you'll find that when you go to do your first charge, you won't be quite as nervous as I was when I did my first charge, just not really knowing what I was doing or what I was in for. But all you need to do is plug the cable into your electric vehicle, read the instructions on the screen. It will ask you to either use the app or swipe a card. When you swipe the card, it simply starts to charge. And when it's finished, you'll get an alert on the screen within your vehicle to let you know that the charging has completed or finished. You simply take the charger out then, plug it back into the charging station and off you go. And the payment is all sorted based on the credit card details that are held within that card. All right, guys, well, if you're new to electric vehicles, I hope that was helpful. If you've already got an EV, you're probably quite uh, au fait with the swipe cards and how you can connect all the different accounts, etc. Either way, I hope that was helpful. I look forward to seeing you soon in another video.